Hello friends. Hello friends. Today we will learn if statement in C programming using flowchart. Before starting of if statement, we will learn about flowchart. Flowchart is a pictorial representation of an algorithm. Flowchart are very helpful in writing program. Different symbols are used for different statement in flowchart. For example, input and output and decision making has different symbols. Some basic symbols in flowcharts are symbols, flow lines used to indicate the flow of logic by connecting symbols, terminals or st stop and start used to represent start and end of flowchart. Input or output used for input and output operations. Processing is used for arithmetic operations and data manipulations in our program. Decision it is used to represent the operations in which there are two alternatives that is true and false. Connectors or one page connector is used to join different flow lines. Program for checking given numbers in positive or negative. That is how to use flowcharts symbols in our program or its executions of our program. It is very useful to understand using flowchart like start flow lines input values diamond that is used for decision making here we check test expression if condition is true it will print message or if condition is false, it will print else part of our program and terminate the programs. For example, start, enter any number is or if n is greater than 0, if condition is true, it will print number is positive, else if condition is false, it will print number is negative and terminate the program. Now we will start how to write programming C. Open your Turbo C or Dev C++. Open. Now write your program like hash include yesterday our dot h. It is preprocessor header file. Hash include Kony or dot h means console out, out console input output header file. Yesterday or dot h means standard input output header file. Then void main. Main it is a main declaration function. Integer n. Integer it is a data type. n it is a variable. Then clear screen to clear our output screen. And print f slash n, enter any number, then scan it, percent d and n. If n is greater than 0, this is our condition, opening curly bracket, then print it. If condition is true, it will print number is positive else if condition is false 
it will print number is negative first part of a statement it is if condition is true and second part else part is used for if condition is false then get ch and void map before executing your program save your program like positive negative dot c then compile and run your program enter any number for example 78 it will print the number is negative run again if you enter minus 8 it will print number is negative thank you